Absolutely perfect. Herrera kicks away. They're going for it. Fourth and inches. Milrow spins three and has the first down. So that was fourth and inches from their own 34 on the opening and drive. No Milrow on first down. Gets it out quickly and turning the corner is Bernard. And Jeremy Bernard breaks free and gets a big explosive for Bama early on. Finally run down by O'Donnell Fortune. 30-yard reception. Empty set now on first down. High snap that Milrow's able to feel. And with patience, he finds his target, Cole Adams, and it's first and goal, Alabama. He pulls it to the corner and in with ease. One-yard touchdown run, Jalen Milrow. And then you lose to an unranked opponent. That's what happened with Alabama as Sellers tries to connect, and he does so with Jacobs. And take away that last drive by Vandy when they were trying to ice it. Second and eight, Sellers pitches, gets it to Larvadan, and that'll be a first down for South Carolina. A guy went for over 1,400 yards. Second and eight, shallow cross is complete. It's Michael Smith, the true freshman tight end, and that's a first down South Carolina right at midfield. Sellers, design quarterback run. That's a tackle for loss. That was Justin Jefferson who read it perfectly. We had defensively uh, got a drive going right here. Wish we had thrown that ball and not ran that last one on the quarterback draw, but uh, got to finish. It's going to be a, a four-quarter game. Case and Henry, the right tackle, getting to the QB. Third down and 21, so they set up the draw to Attaway. Attaway splits defenders and spins his way past midfield where a flag is down. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 11. He's getting ready to throw this screen. His right hand gets up. He just grazes his face mask. And it's third down and three. Sellers gobbled up and taken down again. Tim Smith has been so active, Jesse. Fourth and 11. They bring pressure. They get it out quickly. But unable to get there is Joshua Simon, their big tight end. So it'll go down as a turnover on down. It was a cover zero look. And the Sellers did the right thing, getting rid of it on the high route. But a better play by Devontae Smith. Very good looking opening drive from Alabama. But since then, the South Carolina defense has responded. Jam Miller out of the backfield. And South Carolina, one of the best pass defenses with that pass rush they have. Second and two will be another first down as Miller a bruising run. He keeps it and does it in smart fashion as Milrow breaks free and gets out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Second and four. Quarterback run again, and Milrow will make it first and goal. First and goal. Haynes into the end zone. Touchdown, Tom. Freezing defenders because they think he might keep it himself. So off the edge that time, Jalen Kilgore and Nick Eman Wari, they, they weren't totally sure. Feels a little bit different with more parity. Next week you're gonna have Hernandez versus Pereira on what will be a big UFC Saturday. Second and seven, they pick up the pressure. Quick strike on the slant. Harbor. Second and five. Will keep it. Sellers. Going to try to bounce it, and you see that speed and those natural gifts to turn on the wheels and get the first down. Fourth down and nine for South Carolina. Sellers on fourth down with time. Going to take a strike to the end zone, and a touchdown scored by Bennett. Wide open, Mazio Bennett. Touchdown, Kakalaki. It was a fantastic design by South Carolina. They had a post on the outside, and that's going to occupy this safety. And it's Mazio Bennett on the inside taking his time on the wheel route, and there was nobody deep in the third for Alabama. Really nice design and play call here by Dole Logans. Milro just had to get rid of it as he was drifting back into the end zone. 
And the officials are going to talk this one over. That should be a safety. That should it be could be. Grade. That was Kyle Kennard again. And the flat comes in. And Shane Beamer says, is that a safety? I want a safety out of this. He was outside of the tackle box, but that football has to cross the line of scrimmage for it not to be intentional grounding. You're going to see there's no Alabama receiver to this right side of the field. He gets chipped. He's off the ball, and it's sort of a delayed rush. Orbit motion. Sellers looks over the middle, gets it complete. Another first down as he goes to Campbell. Sellers on first down. He is pressure. That ball's loose. That is recovered by Alabama. As that was a sloppy, sloppy play by Sellers. You be the judge. Well, it looked like when he threw it, he almost threw it off his own helmet to me live when I was watching it. That's about as ugly as could be. Yeah. This is going to be a tough one for replay because it, does he have firm control of the ball and bring his hand forward, or is he throwing this backwards? But you can't compound the problem by doing something like this. The ruling on the field stands. And that is an Alabama fumble recovery. 48 seconds and two timeouts for Jalen Milrow, who's going to run the ball, and he's taken down a tackle for loss. He has completely over-delivered on expectations, playing his very best today, and that front gets to him again. This time it's Tonka Hemingway. Man, oh man, is South Carolina firing off on that defensive line. Milrow, final seconds here before halftime. That ball's picked off. That is picked off by Kilgore. Kilgore, seconds remaining. They've got zeros on the clock for right now. He stepped out at the 19. If they put time back on the clock, South Carolina's going to have a chance. Slow developing play. That's a dangerous throw and decision. And Kilgore not only making the pick, but getting downfield. See, right there, he's out of bounds. It looks like three seconds to go on the game clock. For three unexpected points for upset-seeking South Carolina. Herrera puts it through. Hey, everyone. Wheels here. I want to take a moment to send my thoughts and prayers to everyone in the South that's been impacted by the recent hurricanes. We're thinking about you and praying for all of you. I appreciate all your support and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Third and five. He pumps and then runs. And with that, it's a first down South Carolina. Lenora Sellers is going to want to take advantage of it. Third and one. Straight ahead and a first down for South Carolina. You got a true freshman out at the other. Sellers. Pocket collapsing. He escapes. Pumps again. Turns the corner. And you see the wheels of Lenora Sellers. Remember, he had a 75-yard touchdown against LSU, and it's another first down. Opening drive of the second half. Sellers. He is sacked that time. That was Latham crashing down on Lenora Sellers. Third down and 15. Drives the ball complete over the middle for a first down to Bennett. Bennett comes up huge again. He had the fourth down touchdown, and now this conversion. Sellers shuffles it ahead to Attaway. Here goes Attaway. Inside the 10, it is first and goal South Carolina. Maurice Brown, who's lined up as the offset running back as Rocket Sanders takes it in. And South Carolina takes the lead at Baylor. And Rocket Sanders just ran through 245-pound Jihad Campbell right at the line of scrimmage. Campbell has a chance to make this stop right at the line of scrimmage, but low man wins, and that's Sanders. Second and eight. Here's Milrow. Milrow pressured again, has to check down again, and hangs with blockers in front, and a first down Alabama. Did they ever make the most of that? Okay, focus, composed, and uh, just being there for each other. Thank you. Yeah. Milrow on second and one, and he will get the first. <laughs> 225 pounds. Coach DeBoer, what does he dial up on third and one? Jam Miller. Miller's got the first down, a stiff arm, and a little more. First down, Alabama. Milrow back to pass. To the end zone he goes. Intercepted. O'Donnell Fortune with the pickoff in the end zone. South Carolina's got everything working. And this ball just hung in the air a little bit too long. Just do a really good job 
of just reading the route concept, keeping his eye on the QB, and picking this thing in the end zone. Starting to get to that point in the game when you look up at the clock. Sellers downfield, and that's incomplete. And you start, and a flag comes in as Malachi Moore was there defensively. His arms firmly wrapped around Defense, the receiver. Number 13. Six penalty on Alabama for 51 yards. Ball is loose. The ball is loose. A fight for the ball. And Alabama's got it. Just what they needed. LT Overton. Fumble recovery tie. Here now with an opportunity to cut into this lead. The back and forth here, Joe, since the last one, thrown with a little bit more conviction. Second and two. Milrow looking for an option and finding Ryan Williams inside the 10. First and goal, Alabama. First and goal, Milrow with blockers in front. Milrow into the end zone. That is a touchdown, Alabama. Don't worry about what you're seeing in the end zone. That's a touchdown tied. Two-point attempt. Milrow to the end zone, and that's incomplete. And it'll stay a one-point margin as Swain had it defensively against Bernard. Rocket Sanders, here he goes! Jump play from the Rocket. Sanders straight ahead, first down South Carolina. And that's just mano y mano. Sellers. He gets it complete. Another first down for South Carolina. Facing a third and 18, but trying to get in field goal position. Sellers. Larvadan spinning free as he gets to the 33. So you're talking about about a 50-yard attempt from there. Alex Herrera. Does he have it? No way, not close. Bama maintains the one-point margin. Second down and 10. Milrow being chased again, but keeps his footing, and now this is where he's dangerous as he strides out and reaches the ball for that line to gain. Old college football rules, four and a half minutes to play. Quick strike, Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams, who had arguably the play of the year against Georgia, one of the great traditions in all of American sports, coming your way in moments. This is Jan Miller on third and three, and Miller will have the first down for Alabama. Third down and 10, Milrow. motion early they're, they're all discombobulated and bunched up in the middle of the field sellers pressure breaks free he's gonna run as the flag is down first down minute 14 to play sellers with time and it gets a complete pass midfield all right south carolina's in business here Sellers, pocket collapsing. Worst case scenario, flag does come in. We'll check on that as Q Robinson. There's another face mask. Yeah, that's though, the one I'm referencing, the Q tackle. Robinson. So that's funny because I saw the left tackle with a face mask trying to First block Q foul, Robinson. Face mask, defense, number 34. 31 yards away, only an eight-point game. South Carolina, here's the strike they want to the end zone. Incomplete. They were looking for big football on the go route working against Jackson watch this catch right oh foot down. My. did he have possession when the right foot was still down in the end zone they are going to have to look at this again watch the progressive pylon cam there's the foot the rolling on the field is an incomplete pass the previous play is under further review after review the receiver had firm control and had his foot in bounds therefore it's a touchdown wow. here we go folks <laughs> here we go 
Sellers looking for something to the end zone. Overthrows it. Kai Kroger, the punter, is who they use in this onside scenario. Here it is. It's a wobble. It's got to go 10 yards. It's loose. It's loose. South Carolina's got it. South Carolina's got it. We're not done yet, folks. We're not even close. Sellers, is there some magic in his arm? Intercepted. Damani Jackson, who left the game injured. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, which can be done by clicking my logo on screen and hitting subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.